Yeah, so opiate, so specifically opiates, they're a numbing device. They numb us physiologically, um, our body systems, and they numb us emotionally. And I think large, in large part, the reason that happens is because opiates affect neurotransmitter production like serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, oxytocin, all of those neurotransmitter chemicals that are so important for mood, for you know, depression, anxiety, relationships, um, being able to express emotion. And then the other thing which I think is often overlooked is opiates in specific decrease testosterone production. I think a lot of people don't understand the importance of testosterone for both men and women um, because it, you know, we think of it, you know, being testosterone and muscle and everything, but it plays a very important role in libido, um, and in mood. And so, you know, I see my patients, uh, that are taking large opiate doses, a uh, male that should have a six or 700 testosterone level and their testosterone level is less than a hundred. So they're just not functioning properly. And in women, it's the same thing. It's, it, it's, even though it's a much smaller, um, you know, blood levels of testosterone, it's very, very important for um, a woman's well-being as well. So you take away the opiates, they start producing testosterone again, um, they, they rebalance their neurotransmitters. And um, I think you can't really repair, I don't think you can truly diagnose what's wrong with a patient emotionally or mentally with the opiates in the picture because it, the effect it has. Um, and you can't, I don't think you can, I think it's important to get all those things rebalanced so that they can be fully present and aware, you know, physiologically and emotionally to help fix the, you know, whatever underlying issues there are.